A tsunami is visiting the boat. The ship's having a pee. We're in the first classroom, Paul, and I'm filling it back up. What's that noise? Welcome to Stormworks and welcome to the Queen Mary Hotel. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Now, unlike other Queen Mary models, this one is different. You see, this one has been made from the perspective of a guest visiting the Queen Mary present day as she is. That means there'll be no sailing around, but the exploration inside should be of a very high standard. I've personally never been to the Queen Mary. It's something I would love to do at some point in my life. Until then, exploring via video games is as good as it's going to get. So that said, I'm going to be doing exactly that. Join me as we take a first class tour of the ship and see what it's all about. My name is Spamos and welcome to the Queen Mary Hotel. Let's begin. Right, let's kick this off from the car park. Look how big this boat is. That's a big boat. We're going to be all up inside of that, having a good old look around in just a minute. But let's start over here. Look at this. It's like a wall of steel climbing into the sky. Got those portholes. I'm seeing some rivets over there. Oh, it's going to be a good day, everybody. We've even got slime down at the waterline. It is so freaking cool. I'm actually quite excited to get on board and have a look. Oh, hang on, hang on. See the box behind me? That's a real thing in real life. From inside the ship, you can step outside into that box and look down into the water. Why would you want to do that? Because it's a viewing window to one of the remaining propeller blades. The Queen Mary was a quad screw ship. Four propeller blades. I believe three of them have been removed, but this one remains attached. That's an awesome little detail. We'll see if we get to play with that on the inside. Right, do we board here? Not looking like there's open doorways, but you know what? We're first class material. We're taking this uptown. Oh, look at that view. Right, we are on board the Queen Mary. We're on the promenade right now. We're gonna go straight on in. Let's get down into the heart of the ship. This looks amazing. I'm not going to pretend to be a Queen Mary clever clogs. I've pulled up some deck plans. Things may have changed over the years, as the ship has been refitted several times, but allegedly this is the main hall. On the left, we would be looking at the library. On the right, allegedly, is a drawing room. And dead ahead in the middle is a shop. In spite of the limitations of Stormworks, I'm really impressed with how the author of this mod has been able to capture so much detail from the carpets, the furniture, everything is just really well done. So there is a lot of doors, but you can't seem to open a lot of them. Like this section right here. If I step back outside onto the promenade for one quick second, bank a right. This is part of, I guess, the bookshop or the library, the gift shop, I don't know. This would have connected to the main hall on the other side. The way that they've opened this up onto the promenade deck makes me feel like this is now being reappropriated, not so much as a library, but more so as a gift shop. So I pass the question on to you. Anyone in the chat been to the Queen Mary before? Is this a gift shop? Is it still a library? You let me know. Okay, so returning to the main hall, we've got stairs on the right going down. I kind of want to stick on one level at a time. This looks like an expansion joint to me, a very big one. Oh, there's water. Hi. <laughs> Apparently, a tsunami is visiting the boat. <laughs> what an awkward timing, yes. Ah, like I said, it's not a sailable ship. It's a static model. It helps with the FPS, I am sure. But there you go. Goodbye, random tsunami. Thank you for visiting. <laughs> Ding dong. So, expand. Oh, what? Hello, little staircase. Where, where do you go? I have to kind of jump up the steps. It's not really working so well. Okay, we get up onto the boat deck. I said that so weirdly. This takes us up to the boat deck, everybody. Oh my goodness. So only a couple of Queen Mary's lifeboats remain installed on the ship. The rest were only recently taken off and regrettably destroyed. They were old, falling apart, filling with rainwater, and were posing a hazard and a threat to passengers and the ship alike. So away they had to go. So forward of this, right, down into this corridor here. Yo, it's the bar, everybody. Wow. Excuse me, the stairs really do not work well in this. Mate, what a view! The center doorway opened up straight down the middle line of the boat. It's becoming a meme, but that's amazing. 
<laughs> Look how cool this is. It's multi-deck. You see these windows up top? That's like the uh, promenade deck above us. So you can see people with little toesies as they walk past those little windows. Yeah. I wonder what this looks like at nighttime. Wow. Just like that. Oh, dude. Even like this, it just looks like I'm on a calm ocean, expecting an iceberg to rock up any second. Be it daytime or nighttime, the vibe in this room is so cozy, so warm, and so nice. I can only imagine what this was like while the ship was actually in service. I would imagine if they had a heavy headwind, these doors would not be open, because, ooh, that would be windy. Very windy. Oh, dang, that is one hell of a bar. All right, back to daytime. So, if we were to continue further south, aft, they called it into business, this would take us into the first class lounge. Oh, I can't open these doors up. How am I getting in here? Ah, ha, ha, ha. There's a door from the promenade deck. Look at this room. It's kind of spooky in a sense, seeing such a large, open, ominous, beautiful space, so empty and absent of all the creature comforts that would have been here when it was in service. You know, being a lounge, this would have had lovely armchairs, rugs, sofas, roaring fireplaces. It would have been a cozy place for you to put your feet up, have a conversation, read a book, all of that goodness. So turning around here, yeah, these doors would have taken us forwards towards the main hall, fireplace in the middle there with a lovely clock, big old curtains on each side, flanked with some smaller fireplaces and then a stage up front. I've played in bands before. I'm no stranger to a stage. How cool would that be to say that you played the Queen and Mary? Even back in the day, all the high society, the most wealthy people in the world watching you perform. I'd step him back out onto the promenade. Ooh. I guess let's do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's head to the stern, see if we can't duck into some other rooms. So this would be the long gallery. Oh. I think I can open this. I can. This is the long gallery. This is pretty. I mean, they've blocked out all the windows. Can't see inside, but look at this. Very pretty, very detailed. Oh, what is this? What is this? They look like there would have been doorways or entrances to something or another. Art there, plants. This feels really warm and cozy. So we've come past the long gallery. This should be the cabin class smoking room. And there should be a... Ooh, that looks like that then. Could be in business here. Oh, oh. <gasps> cabin class smoking room. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, I don't know if they changed it to a first class or if just first class and camera class looks the same. It just hecking lovely. I love how the authors use pipes and kind of wedges to make these artistic patterns. Like when you step back, it really does feel like carved woodwork. You know, it's just really clever. Much like the lounger has this extra tall ceiling giving you this bigger sense of space. But it also shares that emptiness because all the furniture that would have made this room so cozy and lovely is absent and missing. Okay, we're back on the starboard promenade. Hmm, where are we going to go next? Oh, we were carrying on aft, weren't we? Let's, let's finish that. Let's continue our journey aft and see what we're missing. I'm a happy sausage. I'm a happy sausage. Oh, I hope I get to visit someday. I really do. That'll do it at the stern. Let's go somewhere a little more interesting. Let's go to the bridge. I assume this will take me there. I believe this also. Oh, there's the bridge there. I believe there's tennis courts back here. Yeah, squash courts, tennis courts, whatever you want to call them. You can even see them in the deck. There you go, it's a little easier from this vantage. You can see there's three different courts there across the deck. And of course, the funnels. I wonder, <gasps> can I climb? Uh, that's just pipes. I thought that might have been a ladder. I jump into it. No, nope, that is not happening. The bridge, everybody. So this is one of the sad things about the state of the ship. The bridge wings are no longer safe, so they put these boards up. I got past it. So the floor in the bridge wings is no longer safe. There's a risk of people falling through the floor. So they've had to block them off. Which is a crying shame, because bridge wings, as you know, are some of the best things in the entire world. But hang on. I want to get to the other side for this one. Bridge wing review. Look at the overhang. We've got so much visibility. It is insane how much visibility. The bow feels light years to our side. Look at that overhang. See? See what I mean? Air proper hanging over the side of the ship. So the bridge is open to the public. They've got these hand railings in the front to kind of keep you from, well, grabbing on things, I suppose. I don't know if you're allowed forward. I don't think so. 
this is a detailed bridge. There's a lot happening on this bridge. This is where the lights are controlled from on the model. I turn all these off. All the lights across the whole ship have now gone dark. It's kind of hard to see out the windows. I don't know if that's true to real life. Would these be a little lower? Would I be a little taller? So in the corner here, there's this little, oh, it's a doorway. It's a proper little, little cubby hole. Got a window looking forwards and a window looking out onto the side. I assume it's to do with compass taking. I don't know. I don't know why it's it's like that. And that'll just about do it for the bridge. But look at this. How cool is that? Right, things I still want to see. I really want to see the swimming pool if it's even visitable. I don't know. Let's crack on. Let's have a look see. I think I'm inside a, a tsunami once again. It's a bit blue outside. Yeah. That's a tsunami. It's good to know this boat is watertight. Impossible to sink the Queen Mary. Yes. Goodbye, tsunami. <laughs> and wait, this is going to take me back to the main hall. Yeah. We've been here already. You know what? Let's just go down the main staircase here and see where this takes us. Oh. I'm so easily impressed and excited. <gasps> it's a big open area. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. <laughs> it happened again. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. My deck plans are completely different to what I'm seeing. And we've got accommodation all around us. Elevators. Oh. I don't know what this is. A shop? Versus office? I'm not sure. Hmm? Ow, that'll be the purse's office right there. What are you? Even more inquiry offices? Ah, these would be exterior hole plating doors. I, I don't think I should open this. Yeah, these doors. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm wet. Ah. These doors are going to well and truly be a welded shut. We're not having guests falling through those hole doors. You know, if I ever do get to go visit, I'm gonna feel like I somewhat know what I'm doing. I'm gonna vaguely recognize, ah yes, in Stormworks, there was a thing here. Now there's a horror movie. I watched it just today. It's called The Haunting of Queen Mary. Now I won't spoil anything for you. It's actually pretty interesting. This one lady in the, sh in the movie, she has this idea. She wants to like completely 3D scan the entire ship and then take it like, back in time to the 30s and let the visitor with VR goggles walk around the ship in modern day but seeing it in the past and that's a really fun immersive idea especially for areas that have well and truly changed like the swimming pool okay well that deck was a nothing burger let's go down further okay looking at my deck plans this room is labeled as the bank and that one is the purse's office proper so I imagine your valuables that you bring them over to here this is a more fortified safer area Whereas your general day-to-day -day activity, you can take care of your business right here. Okay, this is the most forward stairwell I think I can access. So it'd be good to kind of knock this out before we head any further aft. I kind of like to get this done in segments, as it were. So, oh, more stairs. Oh, right. So I think looking at my deck plan, this is the third class lounge area. Hmm. Blech. I'm through the door. Through the door. Magic, mate. Well, I'm not supposed to be in here, but I am in here. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. I'm so lost on the deck plans. Ah, it's got a clock in here, though. Yes. Blech. Okay, this is not where I'm meant to be. Uh, through the wall. Blech. Okay, we're through the wall. Okay, perfect. Love that. Ooh, water. Did the tsunami do this? Did the tsunami fill your tummy with water? Let me help you out a second. If I open this, you should. Yes! The ship's having a pee! The water line is barely going down. Let's speed it up. It's now having a number two, everybody! Hooray! Right, now that I've successfully dewatered my boat. <laughs> what am I doing? Magical window. Blech. Okay, we're through the window. I'm doing a lot of cheesy window jumping at the moment. But where am I now? Got a lovely curved paneled roof here. Mm -hmm. I'm learning that this build has a lot of interior decoration that is decorated, but is not accessible. Whether it's meant for just peeking through portholes or meant for actual playability, I don't quite know. 
Like right here. Not a lot going on. But if I go through this magical door here. Bleh. Oh look, there's a whole corridor on this side. Look at the windows and things and things and windows and more water! Marvelous! Oh. An office here, got another Paris's office. This must be a tourist class office, I would imagine. Okay, so allegedly, I'm in the third class entrance here. This wall here didn't used to be here. You used to be able to go straight across, starboard to port side. All of this was third class entrance. Why have they done that? Probably for reclassing or stuff like that, I don't know. Down here should be more hull plating doors, which we can open up. Cabins and lavatories. Oh, I can see the swimming pool on the deck plan. I've got a brand new swimming pool right here. That is creepy. Um, I'm going to open the whole door in a minute. I'm going to enjoy being wet. <laughs> oh, there's another tsunami, I think. Hang on. Oh, there's a wave. There's a big wave that just went through. I think we were inside the tsunami for a good bit and didn't realize. I don't know. There's a lovely corridor. Big 10 out of 10 on the corridor. That's a big water tight door right there. Oh, dare I open... Oh no! Oh no! I'm in the first- Oh, we're filling it! We're in the first class swimming pool and I'm actually filling it back up! Accidental, legit unintended, but you know what? I'm all about it. I wonder if I can drain the water afterwards. Yeah, we're filling the pool. Ah! Hang on, where can I go? Um, um, up top, up top. Welcome to the first class swimming pool, everybody. So, this pool is empty. I know you can see it filling the water right now, but that's a happy accident. The pool in modern day is, is empty and dry. It has been for quite some time. Some people say when they took the boilers out, it ruined all the stability underneath of it, and the weight of the water made it unsafe and all of that jazz. But another side of people say it actually has nothing to do with that. It's totally fine down below, but rather the retaining wall around the pool is rotten and destroyed destroyed and it just can't take the weight of the water pushing sideways which is deforming the room no matter how you slice it a lot of work is needed the thing about the queen mary is its attraction is the fact that it's the queen mary it's a 1930s ocean liner that is what it makes this ship so amazing and the tourism it brings isn't necessarily about the local area but they're coming to see the ship so the fact that they turned this into a haunted house attraction and let dirt bikes drive around it and stuff do the organizers and operators of the ship know really what they truly have being able to swim once again on board the queen mary in this vintage old school swimming pool the tiles in this room reflect the light from the water so wonderfully like it's a, such a magnificent room and the fact that it's just sat here as a sideshow is just it's criminal right chop chop Wee. <laughs> Swimming the Queen Mary, everybody. Wow, we were. So I guess this is like a kiosk to kind of interact with a somebody working in the place. So on this side, we've got the shower room. I believe there's a ghost story tied to this, although it's most likely completely Mickey Mouse Disney made up crap. We've got lots of furniture. You can kind of just hang out. Might be a bit kind of, I don't know, clammy in here. An elevator there and this. Blech. There we go, and throw it. Right, and that gets us back onto the main first class stairwell, as it were. Oh, we are so turned around. We're so turned around. It's a big boat. It's easy to get turned around. Look. Open the door. There you go. This is where that's the wrong side. I, I'm so turned around. My port and starboard are all backwards. Or maybe they're not. I don't know. Hang on. Through here. There we go. There's the scaffolding. So we entered. So, that way. I'm looking that way. That way is the forward part of the ship. Well, this seems to be as low as the main staircase goes. Ooh. Yo, I don't know where we are. It's the main dining saloon. Oh, snap. Look at this. This room is ginormous, spanning the entire width of the ship, but also in length as well from forward to aft. There is so much room here. And of course, with the extra high ceiling, this room is just massive. I really wish we could see this room with all of the furniture in here, all the tables and chairs completely packed out, ready for main service, you know? To kind of give some more context and relativity to the room, because it is so large. So looking at the deck plans, it seems like I can't really see the doorway through it. 
But it says that there's a private dining saloon in this corner and another one in this corner as well. So I guess if you're super VIP and you don't want to be eating in front of the common first class folk, then you could maybe book out one of those rooms there. I'm trying to be mindful in my head, try and be funny, try and be memey and stuff like that, but I'm just having too much of a nice time exploring. I, I don't have a plan for this. I'm legitimately just throwing my face into things and seeing what sticks. The ship is once again having a pee. We'll just leave that for a second to kind of do its thing. Okay, well, I think that's kind of everything we can explore explored. Basically, I'm going to have one final kind of random run around looking for something else that I maybe have missed. But I'm pretty sure that we've covered everything. Oh, what's this? <laughs> the timing of this could not be better. Uh, this looks like second class or sorts. Hang on, deck plans, I need you. Okay, so this is the tourist class lounge. Got a fancy little stage up here. I mean, it's not as nice as the first class lounge. You know, I have played the Queen Mary in the tourist food class lounge. It's fairly sizable. You got the double height going on. It's still a very nice standard, a very nice standard. Okay, well, that about do it for today. We've had a really big walking tour of the Queen Mary Hotel, and I, for one, feel like I have a greater understanding of what the ship is all about. I hope you've enjoyed this. I know nothing super silly hands ended up happening, but it's okay to do something a little serious. What's that noise? Ah! Whoa! Explosions and things! What's going on? Why am I in the sky? I am falling in slow motion, but the game is pooping the bed. Oh my god, oh my god. The Queen Me- oh my god. How many meteors? How many meteors? Thanks for watching everybody, goodbye!